What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I want to discuss the distortion issue on the Mavic 2 Pro that I myself am experiencing and probably everybody else is experiencing when shooting in the HLG or D-Log and color profiles. Now this distortion is definitely noticeable in some situations, but in other times it's non-existent. Let me further explain. On my very first day shooting with the Mavic 2 Pro, this is some of the footage that I was left with when shooting in 4K full field of view. It wasn't until I got back to my house and dumped all of my footage that I noticed the warping or the distortion on the sides. The buildings just weren't straight. I looked at some of the other shots from that day and they looked great. As I said in the beginning of this video, the distortion seems non-existent in some shots, but in others, it's glaring. I figured that this problem was related to shooting in 4K full field of view, so I switched to shoot in 4K high quality and over the next few days, as I was shooting, I noticed no issues in my footage until I looked at this clip right here. Look on the very left side of the buildings. They are slightly curved, which might not catch everyone's eye at first, but now that I pointed it out, I'm sure you can't stop looking at it. As a whole, this distortion issue is very weird. Now, when we're shooting in the D-Log and color profile, the distortion is present, and the same goes for the HLG color profile. It still shows some signs of barrel distortion, but when shooting in the normal color profile, there is no distortion at all. It looks perfectly normal. Here's the weirdest part about this issue. The distortion is not present through the live transmission feed when shooting in any of the color profiles. So you think what you're looking at comes right out on the other side off of your SD card, but that's not the case. If things couldn't get any more strange, this issue is flip-flopped when shooting photos. So here is a raw photo taken with no editing done, and the shot looks great. There is no distortion at all. But when looking at the live feed, the distortion is present. And in my opinion, I think it's more eye-catching than the distortion shown in videos. Also, on a Mac, if we go and preview the photo, it'll show that distortion. But if you open it up in Final Cut Pro, Premiere, or really just any editing software, Photoshop, Lightroom, that distortion is gone. Now, I don't think that the situation with the photos is as bad as the situation with the videos trying to edit a distorted image. So what I did is actually created a preset for you guys for Final Cut Pro. I'm going to leave a link down in the description to download that zip file. Now, to add this to Final Cut Pro, all you have to do is drop it in the effects folder in your motion templates. Once it's here within Final Cut Pro, open up your installed effects and look for Mavic 2 Pro. In there is the distortion fix. And I've also started to use Premiere Pro a little bit, but I don't have a preset available for download. So instead, let me show you how to do it. It's actually a lot more simple than Final Cut Pro. Now within effects, we want to search for lens distortion. Grab that and drop it into the effect controls and set the curvature to negative 13. And that's basically it. Now the footage is pretty much undistorted. It looks just like the normal footage that comes off of the SD card and you should be good to hit the ground running once that's added. Now, it definitely sucks we have to go through this extra step and we have to use these presets. In fact, in my mind, the preset doesn't look as good as the normal footage. It still looks just a little bit distorted, but it does get the job done. I feel like this drone is sort of a half-baked product. I feel like some of the software features are missing. I feel like some of the software features are half-baked, as I just said. And I really hope that in the future, within hopefully the next coming few weeks, DJI implements some sort of firmware update to not only fix this, but also implement some of the other software features that are just not there. But guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I won't take up any more of your time. Again, remember the Final Cut Pro preset is down in the description and to fix the lens distortion, just use lens correction within Premiere Pro. It's a very simple fix, but as I said, I really hope that I don't have to take this extra step every time when editing my footage and they just correct this through a firmware update. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.